Oh, and it makes a lot of sense. And, and we have spoken on this podcast a number of times of, of the concept of failing fast. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's something that a lot of companies, including Spotify and others, have, have said, you know, that, and it's basically said exactly what you said. Yeah. That if you are not, if you don't have the courage to be able to experiment with, you know, 10 plus different approaches to something, you will not find the single one that actually do work. Yeah. So being able to do that kind of, you know, parallel type of experimentation and then failing fast, you know, f- for yeah. the ones that doesn't seem to be, you know, getting some kind of market traction. Yeah. Then, and then you should fail fast for those that, does, that doesn't do so. And, mm-hmm. and in doing it in that way, you will simply find the few that actually do succeed. Exactly. And if you don't have that kind of mentality, it will be hard to stay yeah. alive, right? And, and to be honest, in many companies, there is a saying that says, um, you know, any failure, whenever there's failure, we just redefine success, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Which makes it very hard for many companies to implement the fail fast mm-hmm. part. Yeah, which typically means that they let the initiatives run too long, mm. which means that you're trying out too few things because the things that actually should have been killed early yes. have been let go, let letting go on too long. And yeah. you only do so many things at once. So if you don't, mm. yeah. you know. there's an intellectual limit to how uh, how much a team of people can actually manage. And um, mm. yeah. 